Hello and welcome to this tutorial on configuring and enable password for Cisco routers and switches. The enable command is used to access privilege mode, uh, also known as enabled mode, and this mode offers the user a lot more options and what they can do to the switch or router. It's a lot more powerful, so it's a good idea to limit access by requiring a password. So we're going to look at the two options available to us in order to implement a password. We'll check out the characteristics of each one so we can really understand the differences. And then we're going to go ahead and configure enable passwords and we'll look at some configuration examples. So our first of two methods of implementing an enable password is this command here, enable password. And in the italics there, instead of the word password, you would actually enter the password you want to use. So that's the command enable password and then the parameter you want to enter. The primary characteristic of this method is that the password you choose is stored in the configuration file as clear text. So anyone can view that password. So it's not terribly secure and it's not the best route to go. So you can imagine our other option is going to address this problem. So let's go ahead and take a look at that one. Our second option is the enable secret password command. So the command itself is enable secret and then the parameter you want to enter, here the italicized word password, that is where you would enter the password you want to use. So enable secret, it's a secret. Why? Well, the password, when you use this command, the password you enter is going to be automatically hidden or encrypted by the iOS. And this is done by using a mathematical function. And it's known as the MD5 hash. So this function produces a value. And the password you choose is run through this function and this hash value is created. And instead of seeing the actual password you enter, you see this funny looking string of characters, which no one knows what it is. Now the router can go ahead and figure out what the real password is, because it's the one who created the hash. But anyone else who looks at the configuration is going to have no idea. So this is a more secure method of storing that pass password. You can configure both the first command, the enable password, and the enable secret password command on a single router or switch. You can do both. If you do both, then in order to get into enable mode, in order to get into privilege mode, you use the enable secret. So that kind of trumps the other command. The more secure one is the one that would be used. So those are the two methods, and those are the characteristics of each one. Generally speaking, you want to use the enable secret. It's more secure, and it's better. So let's go ahead and actually get into some configurations. Okay, here we are at a router command line. And let's start by checking out the running configuration. And here is where you would normally see the enable password configurations, and they're not there. So let's begin by jumping into configuration mode. And we'll start with the enable, the standard enable password, and I'll just question mark here to show you the parameters available. You can see password, and you can see secret. We'll start with password, and I'll use California. And we'll jump out of configuration mode, and let's check out the configuration now. And there you see it, enable password California. Just like we talked about, everyone can view the password. So let's test it. I will jump into user mode, get out of privilege mode, hit enable, and type California, and I'm back. So it worked. That was pretty simple. Let's go ahead now and enable the secret enable password. So enable secret, and this time let's use New York as the password, and we'll jump out and check out the configuration. And now you can see enable secret 5, and then you see the string of, of characters. That is the MD5 hash value. So we have successfully hidden that password. And that's great. That's really what we want. A thing to point out here, the 5 stands for type 5, and that generally means the MD5 algorithm, the hash, is what is following it. Um, you will see other types of encryption on Cisco routers and switches. Sometimes they have 
type 7, that is a, a less secure method of hiding passwords. And we talk about uh, password encryption in general in a different tutorial. And you can see here up above the no service password encryption. Well, if you enable that command, then you get into encryption for all passwords on the router or switch. So if you have a chance, check out that other tutorial on password encryption. It's pretty good. Finally, what if we want to get rid of these passwords, the enable passwords? Well, we can do one of two things. We can go ahead and we can type no enable password. And we've just gotten rid of the first one, the, um, the non-encrypted one. You can see now it's gone. And you can do the same for the encrypted one, the secret password. You can type the no enable secret and if you hit enter now, it would delete it. You don't have to go ahead and copy the entire text string. So that's the good news. More often than not, though, you'll just want to go ahead and change the enable secret. So, um, I mean, if you want to delete it, that delete it, that's great. But for some reason, you need to change it. All you would do here is just retype it. Enable secret and then choose your your new password. Hello and and now we can see it looks the same, more or less. I think that string of characters has changed. But if I get out of privilege mode and get try to get back in, New York doesn't work, but hello does. So we've successfully changed it just by re-entering it. You don't have to delete it and then re-enter it. Okay. So to summarize what we went over, there are two commands at our disposal for setting up enable passwords. The first one, enable password, um, unfortunately displays the password in the configuration file. The enable secret password hides it by using the MD5 hash value, and that is a more secure way for storing the password, and I would recommend using that one if you have to set up an enable password. And generally speaking, you want to set up enable passwords. And that's it. There you have it. That is the tutorial on configuring enable passwords. Thanks for watching.